okay if I come in for a minute? Well, what did you want? Nothing special. Just wanted somebody to talk to. Well, I haven't got very much time, Willie. I'm expecting someone in a few minutes to pick up one of Pop's paintings. Oh. Maybe I can come back tomorrow. <laughs> That's all right, Willie. You can stay until he comes. I could use the company anyway. So could I. Just, just to get my mind off of things. Well, why? What's the matter? I don't know if I can explain. Things just haven't been going the way I hoped they would. What things? Well, I don't know. When I came back, I thought everything was going to be okay, but everything seems to be going wrong. I mean, so many, so many weird things have been happening at the old house lately. Well, what kind of things, Willie? Really? You know, sometimes I think everybody's going crazy up there. Barnabas, Dr. Hoffman. Well, what do you mean? Good afternoon, Mr. Blair. Hello, Maggie. Oh, uh, if you're busy... Oh, no, not at all. This is Willie Loomis. Willie just stopped by to say hello. Willie, this is Mr. Nicholas Blair. I, I better be going, Maggie. I think I'm... Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and see you. All right, then we can talk. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Blair. Cast your reflection away from this room, away from this house. Bring me an image of another room in another house, the old house on the Collins estate. Find the room in which Willie Loomis sleeps. Willie Loomis, you will awaken and hear me, and you will tell me what I wish to know. Huh? Huh? Who's, who's talking? Who's in here? Don't be afraid, Willie. Well, where are you? Why can't I see you? No, stay where you are. You will answer my questions from there, and you will relax, Willie. Just relax. What do you want from me? You told someone that everything was going wrong at the old house. Did you mean the experiment? Yeah, they've been having problems down at the lab. What kind of problems? I don't know. I don't understand. Who's been having the problems? They all have. Barnabas, Dr. Hoffman, Jeff Clark. Jeff Clark? Yeah. They got him to help out. He was in on the first experiment. Weren't Barnabas and Dr. Hoffman also in on the first experiment? They were. What exactly did Barnabas have to do with it? They used Barnabas as Adam's life force. Life force? What does that mean? I don't know. I never understood about it. Well, you must know what Barnabas did during the experiment. All I know is they strap Barnabas to one table, they strap Adam to the other, and then they drain all the life force out of Barnabas and they put it into Adam. See, that's how Adam, he became alive. I see. Then one of their problems is to find someone to provide the life force for the second experiment. That's right. But they haven't found anyone yet? No. Thank you, Willie. You will go back to sleep now. And when you awake, you will remember this as nothing more than a curious dream. That's how it's done. Draining the life force from someone into the body of the creature. Well, 
now that changes the picture entirely. <laughs> I thought you went to your room. Would it be all right if I stayed here with you? Just for a little while. As a matter of fact, it would. There's something I want to talk to you about anyway. About what? You were asking about my plans earlier, about why they weren't moving as rapidly as I had expected them to. Yes. Well, now I know. Oh, yes, indeed. I know a great deal more than I did before. What do you know? I know why the curse you put on Barnabas failed. I know how he was able to survive it. Your lovely mind, hasn't it? All right. Why shouldn't I think about it? You know how much I want to be free. Of course I do, but you will have to find some other way. Nicholas, if you use me as the life force, you know you'll have nothing to worry about. Angelique. With you, I always have something to worry about. Now, you are to have nothing to do with that experiment. Absolutely nothing. Is that clear? Yes. Barnabas didn't say anything about your coming here tonight? He couldn't say anything because he didn't know. Then I shouldn't have brought you here. Please relax. I already know all about this experiment and why it's being conducted. I even knew you were involved in it. How did you know that? Julia told me. It's one of the few things she has told me in recent months. Please tell me how all this electronic equipment functions. Barnabas has no electricity in this house. Dr. Hoffman installed a generator. And she's done quite an amazing job down here, hasn't she? Yeah, sure. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Enthusiastic? Should I be? None of you had any choice in this. It was a matter of life and death. Yes, but it's still disgusting. Very disgusting. Yes, perhaps it is. Truly incredible. You think so? To know that on this table an artificially created inanimate body will be brought to life. Professor Stokes, what are you doing here? Adam. I asked you what you are doing here. I came to see Barnabas Collins. He isn't here? No. But where is he? Why isn't he here? You will have to ask Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark. He's your Vicky's friend. Yes, that's right. Where is Barnabas? He and Dr. Hoffman went to Collinsport. And left you alone? Yes. Why isn't Dr. Hoffman here working? I'm taking care of this part of the experiment. What do you know about all this? All there is to know. Why are you staring at me? I still find it hard to believe. Hard to believe that what Dr. Lang put together, they actually brought to life. And to think that I helped him. You? Helped Dr. Lang? Yes, I was his grave robber. Grave robber? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? I don't know. You mean you don't know how you were put together? You don't know where your parts came from? Jeff, I think you've said enough. Oh, let him talk, Professor. I've already told you how you were created, Adam. But you apparently left something out, didn't you, Professor? Jeff, be quiet. No, no, I, I, I think it's time you, you knew. 
how revolting and disgusting you really are. This is dangerous, Jeff. Well, I want to hear, Professor. Yes, and I'll tell you the truth, and I won't leave out any details, because I robbed graves. I dug up dead bodies, arms and legs, and I brought them to Lang night after night. And this rotten collection of death he put together to make you. Is he telling the truth? Adam. Professor, is he telling the truth? Yes, yes, I'm telling the truth. Do you think he just took a nice, new, clean slab of flesh and just sort of carved you out of it? Huh? No, no, he didn't. He did it the only filthy way it could be done. There are lots of ways. It could be undone. Jeff! You wanted to kill me? Now you will die. Adam, no! Now you stay out of this, Professor! Down that scalpel! making a very grave mistake if you harm him. Julian Barnabas have told me they need his help for the experiment. If anything happens to him, the experiment may be delayed. I guess I should thank you, Professor. What you should do is remember what is at stake here. Yes. Yes, I guess I should. Where are you going? To Collinwood. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back. Let him go, Adam. What else has to be done here? I don't know. Seems they still have a long way to go. But you go to Collinwood and tell him to come back. Please be reasonable. No, I will not be reasonable. Who has been reasonable with me? Who has spoken the truth to me? Who cares for me? If I died tonight, who would say a kind word for me? Who would cry for me? No one, Professor, no one! Someday soon, on this table, someone will come to life who will. I want her. I need her and I will have her. Now, will you go back to Collinwood and get him or shall I go back and drag him here? brink of terror. Good evening. How did you get in here? Who are you? What do you want? Who I am doesn't matter. I've come to help you with the experiment. How did you get in here? I locked that door You're upstairs. You're Jeff Clark, aren't you? Well, that's very clever. How'd you find that out? I just knew. 
from the description. What description? The one Adam gave me. You know Adam? Yes. Yes, I've promised Adam I'll help him when his mate is ready. You look very familiar to me. I've seen you someplace before. No. No, we've never met. If you're supposed to help with the experiment, why hasn't anybody told me? Oh, I'm sure I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll find out right now. Come on. What are you looking at me like that for? What's the matter with you? Hey, look, I'm... What did you do? What did you do to me? Let's start now. Hey, don't do that. You can't give me orders. You understand that, don't you? And you won't forget it, will you? My life force will go into this. She will rise, walk, breathe, and I will be free. Can we start now? Start what? The experiment. No. No, we can't. Julia Hoffman's the only one that can do that. You can do it. No. You'll have to deal with her. You will try. Yes. No. No, I couldn't even try alone. You must. You worked with Dr. Lang. How did you know that? Adam told me. When? Look, it doesn't matter. I know you helped Dr. Lang. You helped create... No, I only helped in the beginning. I didn't have anything to do with bringing him to life. Those, those books of Dr. Lang's, they tell you what to do, don't they? You told me you were here to help me. Yes. You said you were going to put the life force into this. Yours. But Barnabas and Julia never told me anything about that. And this body isn't ready yet. It's not. It must be. Why? Why? Because you say so? I'm telling you that nobody could put life into this yet. When will it be ready? I don't know. But you will find out. Stay away from me. You don't seem to understand how serious I am. How desperate. You must use me as a life force. What happened to Barnabas will happen to me. No, you may die. No. Barnabas didn't die. Do you mind my putting my arms around you? Yes. You'll learn not to mind. I'll teach you not to mind.
You will remember me. And you will remember this night. But no one else will know. And when the body is ready, you will call on me and I will come to you. We will do the experiment together, alone. Do you understand, Jeff? Oh, I understand. You will do everything I tell you to do. I will do everything you tell me to do. We will make her live, together. Yes. Yes, we will. And when we do, when we do, I will begin to live again. that book on chess more often. I thought you'd play better than you do, Carolyn. Now, if you don't want to lose that night, you'll have to move the, uh... Good evening, Adam. Good evening? I don't think I remember your name. What? Well, it's been so long since you've been here. I do remember a woman with long blonde hair. So I was trying to remember her name this evening. Something's wrong? No, no I, I brought your food, that's all. You're... You're in a state of depression. I was just reading about that. Well, maybe I am a little bit unhappy. Who made you feel like that? No one. Someone did something you didn't like. No, no, Adam, no one did anything. I I'm just terribly concerned about my mother, that's all. I've been thinking about your mother, too. She's very beautiful. Yes, she is. I was reading a book about a mother who... Well, it ruined her daughter's life. She wouldn't let her daughter marry the man who she wanted to. No, Adam, my, my mother isn't ruining my life at all. She, she isn't well. Then take her to a doctor. Everything is so simple with you. Adam, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Well, you make me feel as if I know nothing. You know a lot. Yes, I do. And I'm learning more every day. Yes, you are. It's just that, well, people are sometimes very complex in a way you don't understand, simply because you don't know very many people. My mother... My mother won't go to a doctor, that's all. What's wrong is in her mind. She believes things she shouldn't. Well, I have many thoughts, complex too, in my mind. I'm positive. Of course you do. And I believe things that I shouldn't, too. Uh, we're not going to solve my mother's problems by talking about them. Dr. Freud says talking is helpful. Dr. Freud? Yes. Professor Stokes says every 20th century man should read Freud. And I am a 20th century man. Women read him, too. Have you? No. Oh, uh, well, I imagine that we would discuss Freud. Well, here, you take this book that I've read on Freud. Thank you, Adam. And you read it tonight, and we'll discuss it tomorrow. Well, I, I don't know if I'll be able to read it tonight. Are you busy with something else? No. Well, then you read it. You should have read it before this. I I've started at least, Adam. You sit there. Adam, I don't play chess. How can you have been on Earth so long and know so little? I don't know how you can have been here for such a short time and have learned so much. 
Uh, who are you playing chess with? Professor Stokes. Oh, Nicholas Blair. No. Don't tell me Harry Johnson plays chess. No. Adam. No one else is coming in here. No. Then who are you playing chess with? I'm playing chess with you. With, with me? Yes. You sit there and we play. You don't play as well as I do, but we play together. And checkmate. I win. Were you angry with me for thinking about Adam, it? Adam, I'll only be angry if we go on talking about it. Here, Adam, you have your food. Steak, Adam. Tell me about your mother. It'll do you good to talk. 